Good day, folks. Hi, I'm Gordon Brockerville, uh, CanFit Pro personal trainer and instructor for the Bjorn Marystown Easy Striders 50 Plus fitness programs that take place in the Bjorn Marystown area. I'm doing a video now of uh, a warm up to proceed a more vigorous uh, workout later on. And uh, we're going to be using grip balls or mini weights and or you can just basically squeeze your fist. Now I'm going to put these weights down because I'm going to be using the grip balls. Now in most exercises we go up to 10 or 12 reps. Some of these um, exercises I only do five or six eight reps and um, I usually count down four three two and one to let people know that uh, the exercise is concluding and we'll be moving on to another one. So we're going to be remain seated for a little while, do some exercises here in the seat, and then I'm going to be standing up. So it's a, a seated warm up to a standing warm up. Let's begin. Just begin squeezing these grip balls. All right, you can push them up here and squeeze them. You can do right here. Okay, take them and put your fingertips into the ball and squeeze the ball into the palm of your hand. Take your thumb and squeeze into the ball. All right. Now, just taking the two in one hand and just twisting. We're warming up the uh, fingers in preparation for other work later on, and we're going to warm up the rest of the body as well for more intensity activity. Now, some curls. Just take the arm ball and just do a flexion here. Four, three, two, one. Keep your arms here, lean forward, and just push your arms behind you, just bending at the elbows, straightening in the elbows. Four, three, two, one. And right here, and we just push straight up as high as possible. Four, three, two, one. Arms right here. Good mornings, or if you're working in the afternoon, good afternoons. Seated, good mornings, good afternoons. Four, three, two, one. And twists. Twisting in the lower back and the upper back. Four, three, two, one and side bends. Four, three, two, one, and crisscross. And now slide it a little bit and get your legs in there as well. Four, three, two, one, and down. Now sit up nice and tall and put your feet out and just up and down, flexion, flexion and extension in your feet, in and out, eversion and eversion, inversion and eversion, around and around, and the other. Okay, now I'm going to move this chair to the side and I'm going to stand up and continue this warm up uh, standing. And I'm still also going to be using these, sometimes moving to one hand or the other or separate like this. Give me a moment. And if you have any extra weight around, make sure that you take them and put it away so you don't step on them, thread them. Okay. So now we're going to do some swings. We could do these seated, but it's easier to do them standing up. And go the other way. <coughs> Excuse me. Switch over to the other side. Change direction. And I get the other arm going as well. Reach to the ceiling, get your hips moving. All right, we're going to slow down and we're just going to have one arm go in front like this. Now get the other arm going. 
Now we're going to do a little hip hinge, just a slight bend in the hips. Four, three, two, one. Change direction. Four, three, two, one. And hips around. I use this hip movement as a warm up, but also a transition between some of the exercises. Now you can see my feet with those yellow shoes on, and you'll notice that I'm just ankling, just lifting my heels off the floor. Preparation to get into doing some marching. So now let's just march on the spot. Notice that my arms are just going back and forth as if I was sort of walking. All right, here it is, right here. I call this a mini march. Now we're going to go up and do a little higher march. You can squeeze those grip balls if you wish as you're doing this. You don't have to turn around, I'm just doing that just to demonstrate. And a little higher march, bringing the knees up to the height of your hips. Four, three, two, one, and hips around. Now we're going to do something called open the gate. So you're going to bring your hip leg up and lift it out. Imagine that you're going through the gate with your hands full and you can't use your hands to open the gate, so you use your foot or your knee. Four, three, two, one. And now you gotta close that gate. Bring the leg up and bring it in across your body. Four, three, two, one. And hips around. Okay, arms right here, nice and tall, hips over your ankles, your heels, your shoulders over your hips, nice and tall. Now take your hands here and just go like this. Now relax, have your knees slightly bent, bring your arms open like this. Four, three, two, one. Right here, in and out. Four, three, two, one. There and down. Four, three, two, one. Hips around. We're going to come back and do those two exercises together and combine them for what I call the scarecrow. In, out, and down. In, out, and down. In, out, and down. In, out, and down for four. Four more. Four, three, two, one. And hips around again. All right, now we're gonna switch and do some lunges. We're gonna do some forward lunges. Okay, we're gonna work on doing somewhere between eight and 10. Ready? Hands are here, and you can grip that ball as you go forward. Now I'm going to do 12 lunges, but you can do 10 or 8. Four. Three. Two. One and hips around. Okay, now we're gonna to do to the back, right here, okay? And we're gonna go like so. Bring your knee close to the floor, but not touching it. You can move your arms into a little flexion like this. Four, three, two, one, and hips around. You should feel your heart rate picking up, your breathing rate should be picking up, your muscles are getting warmed up, the blood is flowing to them. 
getting ready for more vigorous activity, which is coming up soon in the next video. All right, heel raises. Now, add some pushes with your hands. Four, three, two, one. Now, reach out to the right or the left, push off the opposite foot. I wasn't counting. Four, three, two, one. Now, stand nice and tall and just reach to the ceiling and reach towards the floor. Four, three, two, one. Change direction. Four, three, two, one. And hips are in. We have a few more exercises to do, and then we'll sit down and start the weights. Okay, we're going to do some side lunges. And I'm going to demonstrate going full this way and sideways. So you can hold on right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Here it is from the side. One, two, three. Opening that chest nice and wide. Five, six, and back. Hips are out again for that little transition, but also warming up the hips. All right, some standing good mornings. Feet shoulder width apart, a little extra. Bending at the hips, should feel a slight stretch in the hamstrings, upper part of your back legs. Four, three, two, one. All right, standing right here. We're gonna squat with your arms up like this or like this. Okay, let's begin. Now as you squat, your knees are gonna push out. That's six with the arms out. Now let's do six with the arms on our hips. Our hands on our hips. Four, three, two, one, and hips around. Now, when you're starting to do, do a workout, you can choose the standing workout alone or do the seated to st standing workout warm up. This concludes this uh, warm up. And now I'm going to uh, uh, move to doing a, a workout. And the workout will be dumbbells, and it will be two parts, segment A and segment B, sandwiched with a balanced piece of work. Thank you.